Hi. Today I'd like to demonstrate our WSB 600 tool, uh, boot. It's an IP67 boot and it can take the place of traditional adhesive lined atom heat shrink boot. This boot is still packaged with every connector we sell, but if you are working out in the field, it requires a heat source, either butane or electric heat source. This boot here does not require that heat source and also adds some additional strain relief. So let's get started. The boots come in little packets of silicone. They come packet 10 to a, 10 to a package with four of these little uh, silicone packets. But this material here, I, I have to recommend, you can buy it online, this P80. It's uh, biodegradable, very easy to use. All it takes is just a drop, a little easier to work with and keep in your, in your tool pouch. Take the boot, just slide it over the cable like so, push it back out of the way. At that point, you take your ferrule, slide your ferrule over the cable, take your CST 600 prep tool, make sure that the side one is clear of the pellets, place the cable into the tool, and you start to press down on this thumb switch. Turn it, and once you hit bottom, make an extra revolution or two, keep it depressed, and pull, and take that pellet right off of there. You fit the tool around, there's a deburr tool, just a little back and forth, you take an, and you got a nice chamfer there on the end of the center conductor. Now, you want to make sure it's set for crimp. Place that over the cable, the tool. Just start spinning it and let the tool do the work. Just spin it until it spins freely like so. And you're all set to go at that point. You take your easy 600 NMH dissex connector. You take your round wire braids. You fan them back just a little bit. Get this started. It's going to be a nice snug fit. Give your legs a push. You feel it stop. Give your legs an additional push. That's those fingers, those beryllium copper fingers right up on the center conductor. Now you take the ferrule, slide it right back up, and you notice the braids are right where you want them to be. There's no need to trim with a pair of scissors. You have a couple choices here now. We have our new CT-600 crimp tool. You can use the CTU universal crimp tool with interchangeable dies, but for our purposes, nice economical CT-600 tool. You want to crimp it just once, and you want to crimp it right at the very back of the connector. Crimp that all the way down, just like so. You straighten out the cable a little bit, just for good measure, put one little drop of uh, lubricant, additional lubricant there. And all you do is just take that, that uh, boot and just bring it forward. You hear it snap onto the back of the connector, and you form that IP67 seal there at the back of the connector. So you're all set. Thanks. Thanks a lot.